Hi guys, I'm feeling super summery today, so I've decided to show you how to make these delicious strawberry puff pastry tarts. So to start, you want to prepare the pastry. I just have some shop-bought puff pastry here, so I'm just going to grab a pizza cutter and I'm going to cut in half lengthways first. So I just like to have a ruler to make sure it's nice and straight. I'm going to cut that. And this will be making six puff pastry tarts. So I've cut it in half lengthways, and now I'm going to cut it in threes across the short ways. So measure that out. I like to use a ruler to make sure they're nice and accurate, but you can just do it by hand. And I'm just going to cut six squares out of them. So now that I have my six squares, I'm going to place it onto a baking tray lined with some baking paper. So using a serrated knife, I'm just going to cut a two centimeter border around the edge of the pastries. So you just want to indent that lightly. You don't want to push all the way through to the tray. So just lightly score out two centimeters. And this will help the puff pastry puff up around the strawberries. I'm just gonna leave them on the side and prepare the filling. So for the center of these puff pastry tarts, I have some full fat cream cheese, and to that I'm going to add some lovely strawberry jam, and this will give it a nice strawberry flavor. So we're going to spoon some in. So that is all mixed together now, it smells absolutely amazing. I'm going to spread that now onto each of the squares. And then just using the back of my spoon, I'm just going to evenly spread that out to the border. Make sure you don't go over the serrated edges. So that is now done. I'm going to pop that on the side, grab my strawberries and cut those into some thin slices. And then when you have your slices, you want to place them on top of the filling. I'm going to chill those in the fridge while my oven preheats to 180 degrees fan. For other temperatures, they'll be listed here. So just before popping them in the oven, I'm going to create an egg wash. So I have an egg and I'm just going to crack that into a bowl. And to that, I'm going to add a splash of milk. I'm just going to beat that together using a fork. Oven is ready. Before serving, I like to finish off the pastries by adding a dusting of icing sugar. So that's how you make strawberry puff pastry tarts. Easy.